Hello everyone. Now let us consider elliptic curve cryptography. When we are going to consider elliptic curve cryptography, it is defined by the expression Q is equal to K times of XP, where K acts as how many secret key, how many times we are going to add P. When we compare this with RSA algorithm, there what we are going to do to get the ciphertext we are going to take uh, compute m to the power of e mod n okay where m is the plain text e is the public key and n is the composite number which is a product of two prime numbers so here we used to take exponent of a key for the plain text but in case of elliptic curve, instead of taking by using exponent operation, we are going to consider repeated addition of a point. And here, e, even though if we know the corresponding value of um, uh, this C, M and N, if we do not have a knowledge of E, computing E will be difficult for larger value of n, isn't it? In the same way, even though if we know the point Q present on the curve and point P present on the curve, we will not be knowing what is the K. Computing K is difficult with respect to elliptic curve cryptography. So that is the reason when we are going to consider elliptic curve you know, using uh, sorry elliptic curve for cryptography mainly we are going to consider points every plain text will be converted or mapped to a point on the elliptic curve and then we will going to perform addition this how many times we are going to add will be kept as secret okay and in this example let us consider the elliptic curve expression y square mod 23 because p what i have selected is 23 and uh, it is equal to x cube plus 9x plus 17 so from this what i can observe is it belongs to the elliptic curve group defined over a prime number 23 and the constants 9 and 17 so according to this we will be having the prime number as 23 and the constant a as 9 and b as 17 okay this is how we can able to get the constants now when the value of q that is the ciphertext and the plain text p is given how to find out the key okay so for that we have to add P until we get the resulting point is equal to the given Q. So first let me consider P is equal to 16 comma 5 and then we have to find out 2P. So how to compute 2P? We have to calculate lambda. So since we are adding P with P we have to consider tangent expression so according to that i can write it as 3 and here this is xp and this is yp so i will be considering 3 into 16 square plus a is 9 divided by 2 into yp is 5 mod 23 so here i will be getting the value as 777 divided by 10 more 23. So for this, I need to consider 10 inverse and 777 more 23 is 18 more 23. So how to find 10 inverse? Again, either I can use extended Euclidean algorithm or I can multiply with the 
other field elements and I need to find out in which particular mod value I am going to get the remainder as 1. So here let me consider the multiplication method only because the prime number whatever we have selected is small. So I will just consider 10 in uh, 10 mod 23 is 10 only. So if I multiply 10 with 2, that is 20 mod 23 is 20 only. So let me consider 10 multiplied with 3. So 10 more into 3 mod 23. How much we are going to get? We are going to get as 7. So I'll just directly write this. 10 into 3 mod 23, which is nothing but 7. And if I consider 10 into 4 mod 23, I will be getting the value as 17. It is also not equal to 1. And 10 into 5 mod 23 that is equal to 4. So I cannot consider that also. Then 10 into 6 mod 23 that is equal to 14. That also I cannot consider. Then 10 into 7 mod 23. Okay. So here I will be getting the mod value as 1. So this indicates that 7 is the inverse of 10. So I can write this as 7 into 18 mod 23 which is equal to 20. So 7 into 18 mod 23 and it is equal to 11. Okay. So the lambda value what we are having is 11. The next thing is I need to find out x and y coordinate. So x r will be the expression is y lambda square minus x p minus x q. So here 11 square minus here xp and xq are same because we are doubling a point. So I need to consider 11 minus 16. So 11 square minus 16 minus 16 mod 23. And here the corresponding value what I am going to get is 20. And yr will be lambda into xp minus xr minus yp mod 23. So if we compute this, we are going to get the value as 20. So the corresponding XR and YR of resulting point is nothing but 20 comma 20. Okay. So it is not equal to Q. So as a result, K value is not 2. So the next thing what I have to do, I need to add 20 comma 20 with 16 comma 5. Okay. So for that, let me consider this. So I will just write 20 comma 20. So this is, uh, let me consider small q point. So usually we will not going to consider small q because that represents the prime number, let me consider this as P2, second point. So, this 
will be the coordinate x p two. So I'll write it as x p two, and this is y p two. In the first point p one, what we are having is sixteen comma five. So this is x p one, and this is y p one. Now what I have to do, I need to compute p one plus p two. So for I need to find out lambda since p one and p two are different. I will be considering the difference of x coordinate and divided by sorry, and the difference of y coordinate divided by x coordinate. That is x p two minus five divided by y sorry y p two minus y p one divided by x p two minus x p one mod twenty three. So when I compute this, we'll be getting fifteen divided by four mod twenty three. So here again, I need to find out inverse of four. That should be multiplied with fifteen mod. Twenty-three. So, how to find the inverse? So, I'll just consider the tables of four. So, four to the eight, eight more twenty-three. So, until I get the values greater than twenty-three, I'll consider the tables. That is, four threes are four fours are and four fives are twenty, four sixes are twenty-four. So, when I'm going to consider the product. Four into six, it is twenty-four. More twenty-three is one. So that indicates that six is the inverse of four. So I'm going to use six into fifteen more twenty-three. So I'll be getting the lambda value as twenty-one. So this is our new lamp. And next, what I need to do, I need to find out x r. So x r will be lambda square minus x p one minus x p two mod twenty three. So this is. Nothing but the value fourteen, and now we are having y r is equal to lambda into x p minus x r minus y p. Y p one is nothing but five mod twenty three. So what we are going to get fourteen. So now we can observe that the coordinate x r comma y r, which is fourteen comma fourteen, it is equal to the given value q. Okay. So when I obtained fourteen comma fourteen, when I add p three times. Because for two p I added p, so as a result I added p three times, and the coordinate of three p is fourteen comma fourteen. So as a result, the value of k is three. Okay, so this is how we can able to find out the value of k. It means until we get the cipher text, we need to repeatedly add the value of p. This is regarding elliptic curve cryptography.